It's been said that if life knocks you down, land on your back, because if you can look up, you can get up. Sometimes you don't want to be like Rocky in the movie, where he gets knocked down, and then the fighter's turned around and thinks he's knocked him out, and everybody says, don't get up, don't get up, don't get up, and he gets back up, goes right back into the ring, and gives the knockout punch, surprise, and wins. Yay, story of his life. <laughs> Sometimes life feels like a constant struggle, a constant fight, a battle to get through each and every single day. If it's not one thing, it's 99 others. If you're not in a problem, you just get out of a problem, or you'll be facing a problem. A difficulty, a challenge, a struggle, a balancing act. Work, 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 work. Work, challenge, difficulty, effort, effort, exhaustion, um, and sudden surprises that take you out at the knees and uh, put you flat on the mat. Great start for a positivity video, right? Life doesn't come easy. It's an unfortunate truth. Everything, even the good stuff, takes work. And it'll wear you out if you let it. It's important sometimes to go pull off the racetrack into the pit stop area. Put on some new tires. Get your oil changed. Get yourself fixed up, recouped, rested, restored. See, just like that, important telephone call and I forgot where I was at. Train of thought, psh, gone. Anyway, It's important to not just keep fighting. <laughs> if you're in a position where you feel like your life is a constant wrestling match and you keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting, sleep is for the week, I'll sleep when I'm dead, all that stuff. Um, if you go by that advice, that is terrible for your health, terrible for your mental health, your physical health, and you will in fact be dead if you do not take care of yourself. Um, your stress hormones will kill you. When life feels like all-out war, retreat, 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 and just allow and accept what's happening. Make a little space for yourself in your life, in your head, in your socialization, in your schedule. Make some room for yourself, some distance for yourself from what is going on in your life so you can detach from the impact of all those blows and all that chaos a little bit to decompress to restore yourself, to re-energize, to center yourself, to heal yourself, strengthen yourself, comprehend what's going on clearly and objectively, to rebuild and regain your centeredness, your strength, and your capacity to get up, get back on the racetrack, come out the corner of the boxing ring, and throw that left hook that knocks life back. The best, most effective way. You won't feel so overwhelmed. You'll feel more strategic in what you are doing. You will be more strategic in what you are doing. Because you've had the time to decompress and to think more critically and objectively about what's going on. You'll have the strength of 
body and mind because you've been taking care of yourselves rather than constantly fighting one stressful issue after another stressful issue after another stressful issue without taking the time to take time out and take care of yourself and look at the thing from a distance. So rather than battle on endlessly from one fight to the next, when life is hitting you, like being pelted in the face with ice on a snowy day, hop inside out of the snow for a while. Let life come as it may, do what it will, and you just take care of you as best you can. Like I said, this may require carving out space from your schedule, from your to-dos, from your yeses to people and obligations carve out the time to decompress, to take care of yourself, excellent care of yourself, your physical, mental, emotional, spiritual health on every level, recharge, and go back clear-headed for the knockout. Don't just keep battling on endlessly, you will wear yourself down and life will wear you out and you won't have the fortitude left in you to know what to do next because you'll be a frazzled mess. So even though it may seem counterintuitive to step back, that's exactly what you need to do. When life is chaos, one fight after another, beating you down, is to step back, get some perspective, get some restoration, get some clarity, get some self-help, some self-healing, some peace. Recharge, restore, and then go back at it fresh, new, and effectively. It's an approach that I could learn to take on myself. I'm letting life hit me until it gets tired. Then I'll hit back. Sometimes you just gotta take it. When it comes like a boxing match or it comes like pellets of ice beating you in the face on a cold winter day, just hundreds of things constantly it is what it is, what it is, what it is, what it is. It is out of your control. Accept it as it is. But when it is too much, retreat, recharge, restore. Let it do its thing. And when you're in a good place again, then you come back and you kick ass and put things back in their right place. You hit back when you have the strength to do so because you've recharged yourself. So allow the shit to hit the fan. You take care of you. And then when you've zenned again, then you can wash the shit off the fan. Um, very poetic of me. I'm letting life hit me until it gets tired. Then I'll hit back. Good morning, goodbye.